Are you anything like me and you really love the idea of doing arts and crafts with your kids but you're not a handy person? Well, I have just a solution for you. Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm a homeschooling mom since 2012 and I make videos to help you on your homeschooling journey and to take the stress out of homeschooling for you. And today I just want to share a really cool subscription box. This video is in partnership with Kids Art Box and they were nice enough to send me two art boxes for my kids to check out in exchange for a review. Now we have not gotten started on these art boxes yet, but I'm gonna show you what is inside of it. And then in some of my day in the life videos that are coming up, you're gonna get to see my kids doing these um, crafts that are in here. So this is not the last that you're gonna be hearing about these subscription boxes. So I love to do Okay, let me rephrase that. I love when my kids do arts and crafts, but I am not the craftiest person. I'm just not. And then getting all those supplies together and finding everything that I need and getting lost in Pinterest, it's just so much easier this way. So what Kids Art Box does is they select some crafts for you guys to do with your kids, and it's all neatly packaged up with everything that you need so that you can just focus on spending time bonding with your kids and creating these beautiful projects with your kids. So we are gonna look inside here and see what we have. Now before we get into the box that I received, I just wanna share with you the three different types of boxes that Kids Art Box has. First you have the Mommy and Me box, which is for ages three to six, and each box comes with three art activity, one science project, and one visual recipe. Then you have the My Artist box, which is the one that I received, and it's for kids ages six to 12, and it also comes with three art activities inspired by the artist of the month and a diorama. And then you also have the Daddy and Me art box, which I thought was so sweet. And in this box, it's for ages four to seven, and it comes with three art activities, one science project, and one origami tutorial. They even have a bonus Halloween box, so make sure you check out the website at kidsartbox.com around Halloween time because this is a really cute box here. It even has some snack ideas down there. So let's open up this kids art box. So the first thing that you see when you open it up are these cards here. Okay, so the card starts out with the artist of the month, and in this case, her name is Faith Ringgold. In the My Artist boxes, the focus is on both well-known and lesser-known artists because they say that it's important to expose your children to a variety of work. And with this box, we're going to read a short biography of the artist along with some hands-on experience of some of their masterpieces. It says that learning about different artists gives children a sense of art appreciation and shows them a different way to explore the world around them. So this month's box, based on Faith Ringgold, is a famous African-American artist and author born in Harlem, New York City. In the back of the card, you have all the activities in the month's box and things that you're going to need, like scissors, paper towels, a bowl for water, an art tray, or a cookie sheet. And then it has a list of all the different things that are provided in this box. Look at this here. We have watercolor, black marker, decorative paper, squares, sunflowers, and vellum paper. Small round sponge, brush, felt pieces, ribbon. There's so many different um, supplies that it comes with. Then you have a short biography on the author as well as a picture. In the back, you have some of Faith Ringgold's masterpieces and some interesting facts about her. So each card is a tutorial and the tutorials are color coded. You see the colors up here, all the dots. They're color coded to an envelope. And in the envelope are all the supplies that you're gonna need for that project. So you don't have to be digging around trying to find out what supplies go with which activity. And in the baggie here you have your basic art supplies that you're probably gonna use for multiple projects. So on each card you have a description of what the project is and you also have what's going to be needed and what they provide and in the back you have step-by-step -step instructions to follow in order to create your masterpiece and then you have a page here that has 
allows you and your children to expand your art vocabulary. So it explains screen printing, stencil, quilt, story quilts, mosaic, Harlem Renaissance, Underground Railroad, Advocate, and Autobiography. I love it because it's a very educational box. And in the back you have a little bit of information about the creator of the art boxes themselves. Okay, so since we have our yellow envelope here first, which is the smallest, we're going to go to our yellow card. And we're going to look at the things that we have in here for the Sewing Technique Family Crest. You have all the things that your child is going to need to create their family crest. You have some strings, some ribbon, some beads, you have a needle in here for sewing, you have a little stick, and all of your felt. Next we have brown, so we'll go over to the brown dot here, which is a diorama. Oh, look at that. We, I, I just ordered one and it didn't come through so perfectly. <laughs> a paper punch, some stickers. So you see you're not getting just cheap uh, products here. You're getting the real deal. So you have some paint swatches and cardstock and everything that you need to make your diorama. Very cool. Now we have our blue bag. So we're going to go over to our blue card, which is the sunflower quilting. Ooh, look at this. So here you have some little flowers. You have some supplies here. And then look at this. This is beautiful. This is what what is a quilting bee? And there's history about it. And there's a section here that says meet these famous women and learn more about them. Okay, and last but not least, we have our red envelope here. That is the um, seven passages to a flight story on quilt paper story quilt on paper and this one just has a sheet of paper so I assume that we are going to need the picture here shows the glue and all the things that came in this baggie looking through those art boxes that was the first time I looked through them and I love the idea of this there's so many times that we want to add art into our homeschool and there's so many different curriculum choices and books and all kinds of things but you know you don't really learn art until you do it hands-on and i love that it chooses one artist to learn about and even some like lesser known artists you have history in there um, you have some african-american history in this particular box and then your child gets to create art based on that artist like that's an incredible idea thank you so much kids art box for sending me these boxes if you guys are interested i'm going to put their link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check that out and add these great elective it's made easy for you into your homeschooling i have some other subscription boxes and things that i want to share with you guys so make sure you guys check out this playlist titled homeschooling resources where i share my favorite games and activities subscription boxes and books and things like that um, to give you guys some fresh ideas on how to add some fun and excitement into your homeschool please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video